Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. 2023 presidency. Tinubu can be stopped as next president of Nigeria. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time we're reaching you today. And we want to say thank you for always being so supportive. Thank you. If you have not given us a thumbs up, this will be a good time to do so. And please don't forget to subscribe if this is your first time. It's no longer a news that President uh, for 2023, the race is on already. Yes, the race is on. This is 2020 and a lot of people, a lot of persons are already gearing for the position of the number one citizen in the country. It's quite an enormous task because what we've seen repeatedly in this country is a lot of people have come not because they have intention of leading Nigeria and making Nigeria better, but one, political status, two, a mass world for themselves. Hardly have we had a governor or a president, you know, a few that have been, you know, really with an intention to change things in Nigeria genuinely, not because they are just coming for the status scope or to amass wealth for themselves or to make a region prominent to say we are the ones in charge of the politics of Nigeria. We are the one governing, you know. So press, um, Tinubu, we all know that um, he's gearing seriously for the presidency Although he has not officially announced it, but we all know that that is the dream. He was the governor of Lagos State from 1999 to 2007. And after that, he has become a stronghold in Lagos State with his wife being a senator for over 12 years, representing the senatorial district. The daughter in charge of the whole of Lagos uh, market, you know, so every dividend comes to her. Yes, we, re we heard recently that his son is going into politics. So a lot is going on. And if you look at it, you are really wondering, mm, what is really going on here? Are these people trying to infringe themselves on us somehow, somehow? Well, uh, it's been said now that uh, the aware youth are saying nothing can stop President, uh, President, uh, uh, President to be Tinubu to become the president of Nigeria. Let's get all the details. 2023 presidency, Tinubu can't be stopped as next president of Nigeria. A national leader of the All Progressive Congress, APC, and former governor of Lagos State, Ashwaju Bola Tinubu, has again been backed for the 2023 presidency. This is as the aware youth for peace and security says nobody can stop the former Lagos governor from being the next president of Nigeria. It is destined by God because only him gives power. The Northern Youth, why endorsing Tunubu for the national top job, lamented that the constitutes and constant attack against the foremost politician is unwarranted and uncalled for. The group also lambasted the incumbent Minister of Labor and Employment, Dr. Chris Ngege, for despising Tinubu while appearing at the House of Representative hearing led by the members of the lower chamber representing Ikeja Federal Constituency, Honorable James Folake. Recall that Ngege, a former governor of Anambra State, had claimed to be at the same level with Tinubu. But while reacting to Ngige's outburst, the president of the group, Halaji Salimo, slammed the Labour minister over his comments, saying the clawish and uncivilized attitude of some top government officials of the presidential Mo President Muhammad Buhari's government that obviously is a bit unprecedented for the assignment, but put themselves to a real as though they are some important. He noted that some of the president's top officials lack decency and compliance of government, adding that such behavior have become worrisome. The aware youth went further 
to ask Minister Ngige to issue an unreserved apology to Tinubu. They queried why the present government to offer attack to Bola Tinubu since his proposed presidential aspiration became public knowledge despite his dent for ambition. The body language of the President Mohamed Buhari administration is that the government detests Bola Tinubu becoming the next president of the country and are ready to stop him. And the question is, what are they afraid of? The group, however, admonished individuals working against the proposed aspiration of Bola Tinubu to talk about issues happening in the country that could rescue life and property rather than face Bola Tinubu for the unreserved and constant forgery into his dream and aspiration to become the president of the country. Well, my people, hmm, see, eh, we, it, I mean, well, it's with no with no, I mean, no uh, uh, agreement to whether Bola Tinubu wants to be the president of Nigeria or not. Listen, guys, see what is going on. Yes, I tell you. Bola Tinubu has a dream to become the president of the country. A bit, let's go back a bit, a bit, a bit in time, in, in history. Once upon a time, the government, uh, people came together and said, let's unseat, um, let's unseat PDP. And they tried, President Muhammad Buhari tried helplessly a number of times to contest, but could not. So they came together, politicians came together and said, let's unseat Ashiwaji Bola Tinubu. They had a gentleman agreement where um, Buhari was put forth as the presidential candidate. And Ashiwaji Bola Tinubu was the one who nominated Yemi Osibanjo. Now... The formula was, Yemi Osibanjo is from the South. He's a Christian, he's a, he's a, he's a renowned, known academician, he's a professor. Uh, that would sell very well. People will, be quite, people will be happy. On the other hand, the president from the North, the North is happy. He's a Muslim, uh, he's a politician. Of course, this formula looks like a very worked out one. Then to, make, to put the icing on the cake, they went ahead and they gave a formidable, you know, um, framework of what they intend to do for Nigeria, imaginatively. And Nigerians were tired of what was happening at the time. Everybody wanted change. Guess what? If you are to know what will happen tomorrow, what would you do? You will not even allow it. If Nigerians knew that Buhari's administration would be 150 times worse than Good Luck Jonathan, nobody... In fact, it will be the first in history that they never got a single vote. Even the North now, is a, is, they are crying and weeping and saying, why did we, in any case, vote in uh, Buhari? Buhari's home, hometown, you know, he, he went the other day and they stoned him off with, with their, you know, a lot is going on in the country. Do you want to talk about insecurity? Top of the charts. Top of the chat, as we're speaking now, the president of the country has gone for a peace talk. <laughs> ah, Nigerians, you look at it. What peace talk are we talking about? You are going on a peace talk and your own house is on fire? Come of it. Wake up, wake up. Who are you deceiving? And it's just so, it's so, it's so untrue that African leaders want to pretend that they don't have a clue of what is happening in the countries. Yes, they are giving him a word upon our words and just allowing the decadence and evil in the country to continue. When are we going to tell ourselves the truth? With the number of mineral resources we have in our country, Africa should be a place that Europe should be coming to, to beg for our, our, our visas to come for, for holidays. But guess what? Reverse is the case. See, Nigerians, if we are going to move forward, we have to consciously pick men and women of integrity. We have to make up our mind that enough is enough. Things must change. And we must go ahead and pick candidates that have us in mind, that have a vision for this nation to move forward. If we continue the way we are, I don't see Africa going anywhere, more so Nigeria. 
Things have gone from bad to worse. We only need God now. Anyway, what do you think? Have a lovely day. Bye for now.